Right, welcome to the garage, guys. <clears throat> I'm going to share with you a way that I learned to do a rocker arm adjustment. So I, I already did a pass down this one. Uh, we're going to do the same thing coming back. But get yourself a breaker bar with a 5 8 deep well on it. Uh, it doesn't really have to be a deep well. It's just what I prefer. But see all these rockers? <clears throat> we're still loose. So we got push rod play in every one of them. Doesn't matter where the motor's at, time-wise. Um, the crank can be anywhere. Um, so all I did was do a pass down this side and tighten them just to take the play out of the push rod. So just don't don't do it by spinning the spinning the push rod. Some of them will spin easier than others, even when there's no play. So I typically will grab the push rod and go up and down. So hear that chatter. And the big thing is don't push your socket down onto the rocker arm because I haven't turned at all and the play is gone. So if you press down with your socket, you get your socket too deep on that rocker arm. You're going to think that the play is out of it. So I typically will go on right before I touch that nut under the, <coughs> sorry, the washer under the nut. Get a little bit of tension on your socket. Jiggle it up and down and start turning your breaker bar a little bit until that play is gone. Just when it stops. And I like a breaker bar because I can back it back off again. There's my play back. There it's gone. So we're going to get down. <clears throat> doesn't matter whether the, the lifters are up or down, where, where our camshaft is at. I'll show you why here in a bit. It's a great way to do this because if you get interrupted, if you forget where you're at, you can walk away, come back. <clears throat> there's, there's no real need to worry about the firing order or whether you're an overlap or where your, your balancer is. <clears throat> it takes a lot of the complicated, and this will work with, this is a roller, hydraulic roller. This is this will work with any hydraulic <clears throat> lifter motor. Blaze going on that one, on to the next one. Another thing you want to not get fooled by is you want up and down play gone. If you rock the valve side to side, you're going to walk that rocker on the on the top of your valve there. So don't, that's not loose. If I go up and down, I'm tight. If I go side to side, I can rock it a little bit. So don't, don't get fooled by side to side play. Just up and down. <clears throat> Just the moment it's gone. <clears throat> On to the next one. And like I said, I already already did the other head, so just in the interest of time, so you didn't have to watch me do 16 of these. I think eight eight will get the point across. A little too much there. Okay, so now all these push rods are tight. There's no up and down play. Just double checking before we go on. Now we're gonna do eight, eight nineties on our harmonic balancer. So you put your breaker bar on the balancer, spin 90 degrees. And what you're doing is rotating your cam to the next, <clears throat> next position. So the lifters that were up might be going down. The ones that are down might be going up. And all we're doing is rotating it to the next position to see who's who. So there's a loose one. Find a loose one, we tighten it back up again. And all we're doing is 90 degrees at a time getting all these lifters to their base circle, the bottom of the, off, off the cam lobes. And that'll let that play come out. Tiny bit there. That way we're not worried about the time. We're just going 90 degrees at a time and finding which ones are loose that weren't last time. And if we do eight steps, we've gone two full revolutions, which is the entire firing cycle of, a, of this motor. So <clears throat> that way we'll have all of the play taken out. And then after you get through all of them, all eight nineties to give us two full rotations on the crank, then we can preload. <clears throat> One. 
Oh, see, yeah, my socket was pushed down on that. And this will obviously get faster the more 90s you go because you're going to have less, less push rods that need adjusted. <coughs> Okay, that was one. This is two. Go around again. Here's another loose one. I like to walk around the motor just because I'm right handed. Like to be standing behind the head I'm working on. <clears throat> okay, it's two on the three. Must be going down. Oh, too much. See, that was side to side play. Almost got me. Be careful with that, just up and down. Okay, on to number three. Six. Eight. And if you lose track, it doesn't hurt anything. Just you can go 20 times if you want. Just you can be as thorough as you want. You just want to make sure that there's no point on that camshaft that any of these push rods are, are loose. So what we've done is we've just taken the slack out. So these hydraulic lifters, <clears throat> get one and show you what they look like. Show you a push rod. So basically these are, this is a hydraulic lifter. So you can see this cup. This is where the push rod that runs up to our valve goes. So there's there's a spring in here, and there's a there's a hole that fills this up with uh, with oil from the block. 
So when your oil pump's running, it's going to pump oil pressure in here and hydraulically pump up the, the middle of this. And this, this piston, this cup piston on the top, is going to have hydraulic oil pressure behind it. Oil, you know, your, your oil pressure from your oil pump. So right now, this lifter's not got any oil pressure on it. So there's a spring in here that pushes this piston up. So all we're doing is taking, we're, we're slowly putting that push rod till it touches that cup. And we don't want to go any farther than that at, at this point. We're going to preload them in a second here. So what I've got now is some, if I push on this, I don't know if you guys can see that, but that spring in there, doing a terrible job with the camera, I apologize. There's play. So basically this push rod is going and pushing that piston up into that lifter. So there's a, there's a retainer clip. See that retainer clip there? that keeps that piston from popping out. So what we, we want is in the, in the motor when we're assembled, we never want that piston sitting on that retainer clip. That's only for assembly. That's so you can put the lifter together and get it in the engine. After that, we want that, that push rod butted up against. So right now, all these lifters are still sitting on that retaining clip because all we've done is taken the play out. We've stopped as soon as we've made contact and the, the, the push rod's no longer popping around in there. But what we're going to want to do is preload it. So we're want, we're wanting to push that piston down just a little bit. And so, you, you know, I've, I've heard guys go half turn, three quarter turn, three quarter turn seems to be the, the standard. But after you've, uh, you've taken the, the play out, that's when we got to go around on all 16 of these and preload them. So what you want to do is put your socket on and it, it's up to you guys whether you start at the top, the the bottom, whatever, but whatever you're comfortable with. So start your breaker bar somewhere and note where it's at. And then you can take, I'm gonna go a half, three quarters of a turn. And you do that, and this this matters if you get interrupted. So you wanna make sure you do them all, all the same. So we're gonna go three quarters of a turn on all of them. Go half, three quarters. Quarters. One more on this head. Half. Three quarters. Let's come around here and repeat the process on the other side. Half. Three quarters. Okay, all done, ready to run.